Today, friends, we are going to make a multi-color keychain using a single color printer. So let's get cracking. All right, so step one, we are in Tinkercad. We've got a keychain to celebrate the Detroit Lions winning yesterday. I do have a full tutorial available that shows you how to make this. I'll make sure it is in the cards. Real quickly, let me break down what this is. The tutorial takes the image of the Lions logo and we bring it in as an SVG. If I do control D, that way I don't break my original part, I can take this out here and ungroup it and show you the technique super quick. This is where I added the keyhole. This made it smooth. If we ungroup again, you'll see that we've got one piece that uses the outer line with a width of three. That gives us this awesome outside edge. See if I snap this back, you'll see how that does rounded corners, high quality, and gives us the base. We also used the silhouette. And then for these parts, we just used the default. And then I used a thinner outer line with the high quality so that we could end up with a three color keychain. Now this original tutorial shows you how to print this flush on the Bamboo Labs P1S. If you want that, of course, that tutorial will be there. We are gonna print this with separate vertical layers because that way on my Artillery X4 Pro, we can easily get a multicolor print using the M600 command. Now I will remind you quickly, I chose two and I chose 0.5 for these heights. We'll need that when we set the M600 commands in a moment. I'm gonna quickly select them all. Let's hit export. Notice it is the selected three shapes and choose STL. I'm gonna call it three color M600 Lions keychain and hit save. For this next part, let's bounce to my website, hlmodtech.com. Of course, I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad with all of these awesome categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. This helps you with making all your designs, but of course, today, we're going to mess with the 3D printers tab. When you get here, we want to choose the Artillery X4 Pro. Of course, you can find how to assemble it, smart steps for a first print, and that firmware update. This will be the full playlist, but today we are going to zip out to the Artillery website. Of course, if you check the store, you can find deals on the X4 Plus and the X4 Pro. But we want to go to support, and we want to go to downloads. This is where you can find the Orca Slicer link. We're using 2.2. It includes the M600, which makes this work. This is the default setting folder, and this is the tutorial for setting up. It's super simple and well done, so I'll let you follow that on your own. This is the configuration file. We do need to add this to our computer. Nope, when you click on it, we just move over here and we download it to our PC. I have already completed that step, so I'm just going to hit cancel and back out. Once it is downloaded, we do need to extract it. Notice I have moved to my downloads folders. This is that Artillery XW4 Pro. I'm going to right click and choose Extract All and simply hit Extract. Notice I've already done it, so I'm just going to skip it this time. Now that it's extracted, I'm going to close that. With it extracted, we can launch Orca Slicer and we can get that configuration file set up. When you first launch Orca Slicer, it lets you add your printers. I'm going to quickly power up the 3D printer. That way we'll be able to connect to it in a moment. While I wait for it to boot, let's get our project started. So I'm going to hit Create New Project. Now once loaded, we need to click on our printer. I've got my Sidewinder X4 Pro. Type in the URL, which you can get from the printer screen. Once you have it connected, we can bounce to that device menu. I'm going to hit Refresh. Bingo, there it is. Now we need to update that configuration file. We're going to do it by going right here to configuration. And we're going to take this file right here, the printer configuration, and we're going to rename it. I'm going to just label this one old, and I'm going to hit save so that I can still get back at it. Now we are going to add the file we want to put there. Here is that X4 Pro folder. This is that configuration file. We are going to open it. And we're going to right click on it and we're going to rename it printer config and save it. And then we also need to edit it. I don't have the time lapse, so I'm going to just backspace and delete it. And I'm going to hit save and restart. If we bounce back to the home page, 
Bingo, 3D printer is ready. So while the printer is rebooting, let's back up to prepare. Friends, it's time to get it loaded. Let me show you a few things. First, here's our file, import it. Notice it did have some non-manifold edges. We're simply gonna hit repair and let it fix that super quick. It only takes a moment, and most times you'll never even notice what changed. Now the M600 command works on the layer height. My current layer height is 0.2. That means our layers, I'll show you this real quickly, because I had it set at 0.2 layers. Our keychain base went two millimeters high. So we've got to go from 2 to 2.2 before we switch colors. This is where, if you're patient, you can make your design turn out a little cooler by giving yourself more layers to play with. I'm going to switch with 0.12. Once again, we hit slice plate. And now, in between those switches, I can go down to 2. So that is where the top finishes. And then I'm going to go up one chunk, so it would be 2.12 when it switches to the next color. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna add the custom G code. We need to add an M, I'm gonna do capital M, 600, and hit OK. Now I wanted that to continue until the 2.5 layer. So I'm gonna go up and the next one would be 2.6. I am going to right click, add the custom G code again. And once again, this is the M, 600, did capitalize it, hit OK. And that is our new design with the three awesome layers and the Wicked Cool M600. Friends, we can simply hit slice plate. Of course, make sure your filaments are loaded. I have already done that. And we can now hit print and upload to the 3D printer. After a moment, it switches to the device menu. Then let's make something magical. Friends, this is the base printing. I have sped up the video and I've also dubbed the audio on top. With that M600 command connected, the printer will beep and it'll pause so we can swap the filament. Once the screen appears, we can simply click the unload button. After a moment, you'll see the filament start to come out and you can grab it and pull it the rest of the way. Filament number two for this project is going to be the awesome Silky Silver from Zero. Here, I'm going to quickly finish removing the black. And we can simply grab the second reel, put it in place, and of course, pass the filament through the filament sensor. Once you have your filament in place and ready to feed, we simply hit the load button and wait for it to purge. Once it does, carefully pull that filament out of the way, and we can simply back out to continue the print. And at the next pause point, it will stop. And we simply repeat the process with color number three, which in my case is this fantastic blue that I got from EPAX. Of course, you can find links in the description. Of course, we repeat the steps to get the new filament loaded. And then, of course, back out to restart the print. All made super simple thanks to that M600 command. And about 30 minutes later, check it out. Multicolor Detroit Lions keychain. How cool is that? Now real quickly, I will highlight this is the smooth finish face down print that was printed on the P1S. Of course, different color variations. You'll be able to find this tutorial up in the corner as well. Friends, real quickly, let's wrap up. Of course, the Tinkercad tutorials will be listed above. There is also a firmware tutorial for how to get your X4 Pro updated. Don't forget, if you check out the Artillery website, they're running deals right now. Finally, friends, I want to say thanks to all my supporters on Patreon. Absolutely love how that community is growing. Don't forget, you can check out the links down below or the bit.ly up above. Finally, friends, I want to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget, every time you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment, or hit subscribe, you're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day, and keep tinkering.